Hi and welcome to your Market Update Charts of the Day for today, Monday the 20th of February. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, on Friday we saw US markets finishing mixed. The Dow managed to eke out small gains whilst the other indices traded to the downside. Of course, the US market is close tonight. It is President's Day or George Washington's birthday. And so we would expect trading volumes to be relatively small, certainly towards the back end of the day. U.S. futures are below neutral in early Asian trading, and Asian indices are following that cautious U.S. lead. ASX is trading near neutral. It started off slightly to the downside, and since then has moved up a little. European equity markets are also pointing to a near neutral open. The DAX slightly positive on the futures contract, and the VIX is trading around the key 20 level. U.S. dollar index still looks strong, testing the top of the range, near monthly highs, and gold is managing to hold on to 1830 support near those year-to-date lows as it did for most of the back end of last week. Uh, copper closed in at the high uh, of the week on Friday but is slightly softer in Asia and oil is also moving downwards towards the bottom of the medium term range it's been in now for a couple of weeks. Bitcoin was one of the big stories last week it managed to make its way up to 25,000 before just pulling back a little bit on Friday. That close is six month highs it does look as though it's holding it today as well in asia earnings season of course continues in the us and europe although we are at the back end of the us earnings season obviously we are in week two of the ramp up of asx shares reporting the people's bank of china interest rate decision is already out and there's no change there and the eurozone consumer confidence is of note later on this afternoon nothing obviously coming out of the us because of nyse closure the fomc minutes on wednesday could be important as investors pick apart what the fed discussed on their interest rate meeting a couple of charts that caught our eye today uh, worthwhile referencing qbe uh, you can see there we had this earnings report on friday which pushed us up significantly we had some follow-through today which is interesting and we're keeping an eye on 15.16 as a key level. If we just put it back, if we just take it out on a weekly chart, you can see it last was at this level around about October 2019. And so it may go well get stuck there. Uh, but if we do breach that, I think there could be some significant upside in this. On the FX front, the Aussie yen looked interesting today. We are looking for a breach of last week's high of 93 cents. We're about 50 pips away from that now. So for short-term traders, there's a potential to trade it up to that level. Subsequent to that, if we get a breach, it could be very interesting. Up to 94 certainly looks on the cards and possibly even higher than that. So that's one to watch as the day progresses. You can see these higher lows on the daily chart, which suggests that this is not a bad place to be medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.